Today I'm super excited to share an update to the voice AI agent that I previously built. If you've been following along, you know how powerful the OpenAI's real-time API is. However, it's very expensive, especially when we're trying to scale out to real-world production use. So I've upgraded the system to now using Ultravox, an incredible open source voice model that only costs five cents a minute to run. This system is still packed with all the different features that we had previously, the multi-location slash calendar handling, rack capabilities, and personalized customer history. And not just that, I've also reworked the backend to save you an extra $20 a month. So make sure you stick to the end because I'll be explaining exactly how I built the complete system but first things first let's dive straight into the demo right so I'm just gonna go ahead and call the agent and put on a loudspeaker hi Ahmed I'm Sarah from Agentix AI I see that you previously called to schedule a meeting with us can you tell me a little bit about your call last time yes you can I actually go ahead and make a booking for tomorrow before we proceed with booking a meeting for tomorrow can you please confirm your name Ahmed is that correct that is correct my email as well is ahmed at gmail.com. Great. Thanks for confirming that, Ahmed. So you'd like to schedule a meeting for tomorrow. Can you tell me a bit about what you'd like to discuss during the meeting? What's the purpose of the meeting? I'd like to talk about potential AI partnership with Agenix AI. So you're interested in exploring a potential AI partnership with Agenix AI. That sounds like an exciting opportunity. Yes, it Can is. Can you tell me what, what time were you thinking would work best for you tomorrow? Let's do 2 p.m. tomorrow. 2 p.m. tomorrow. Just to confirm, where would you prefer to have the meeting? We have offices in London, Manchester, or Brighton. Which location works best for you? Let's do London office, please. London office it is. Let me just check on the availability for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Your meeting is all set for 2 p.m. tomorrow at our London office to discuss a potential AI partnership. I've confirmed the booking. We're looking forward to meeting you then, Ahmed. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, that's all. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Right, so once the call ends, we should be getting also a transcript. Lovely, amazing. And we get a summary as well. So it's saying, Ahmed contacted Agenix AI to schedule a meeting for tomorrow to discuss potential AI partnership. The agent confirmed his details and scheduled a meeting for 2 p.m. at the London office. So the different offices is just a, a way to demonstrate you can have different calendars, you can have different locations. But yeah, goes ahead, makes a booking and we capture some notes for the meeting as well. It's all working lovely. So let's jump in to the back end and see how it works. So as you can see, the agent is fast and responsive and sounds quite natural. And it's on par with OpenAI's real-time APIs agents. However, if we look at the previous setup, there were two main issues. The first is the OpenAI's real-time APIs costs, which we just overcame by using Ultravox. But the second, and this is how we save an extra $20 a month, is because we previously used Replit. And now Replit is great for beginners and one button click deployments. However, because it costs $25 a month, it's not really ideal. So what I did was we're now basically using the same fast API Python backend. However, we're just hosting it in Railway. And I'll explain how we can do that later on. Essentially, everything else is basically the same. The inbound call goes into Tulio. That gets forwarded to the incoming call where we get a chat history and a caller type. That comes back into Tulio to let it know what the media stream URL is. And this is the channel that data goes back and forth in. So the voices come from Ultravox into Tulio and then back into from Tulio into Ultravox. And then we have Pinecoin Assistant for the RAG capabilities. And yeah, at the end of the call, we store the transcript and summary, as you saw in the demo. And this final tool is basically the one that checks the calendar and makes a booking. So Railway is also a hosting service. They're great. It's only $5 a month. And it can also be automatically set up so that every time you do a commit into GitHub, it will automatically pull in and redeploy. Right, so let's just have a quick look at the code and understand what's going on just at a high level. So it's a Python fast API application. We have the two different endpoints. We have the incoming call endpoint and we have the meter stream endpoint. And then we have some functions here that basically handle the Ultravox call, that handle the question and answering. So I didn't demo this, but essentially we're able to ask questions and use the rag to retrieve answers and context. Um, we're able to schedule the meetings and there's also a function to send the transcript to NA10 at the end of the call and send to webhook is another one for scheduling the meeting. I'm not going to get into the technicalities, but essentially it works in a very similar way to the OpenAI one. So go ahead and watch that video. But the one thing is different is we're using obviously Ultravox. So we're creating a call. The API here looks a bit like this. 
we have the system prompt, the model. These are all like defaults that we just set at the top here. So I'm using Tanya English for the voice. Mark is also good if you want a male voice. Uh, sample rate and buffer size. Just copy these settings. It works for this setup. We have the different tools, the question and answer tool to get answers from the knowledge base. I just put some documents in there about AI employees. And then we have the schedule the meeting tool. So this is basically the only function that's a bit different. So not only are we saving $5 a month using Railway, there's also the benefit of when we're developing locally, we're able to use something like Windsurf or Cursor to speed up the development process and handle some of the errors that might crop up. Um, I feel like they're much better than the Replits agent. If you want to know how to use Windsurf, I did a full masterclass on this. So make sure you go and check that video out. And of course, this complete source code will be in the school community. So make sure you check that out. And one last thing we should take a look at if you haven't seen my other video is this is the back end that drives the agent. Um, so if we're using NA10. The first time it comes in, we check the Google Sheet of the transcripts and the call history. And the second pathway is for summarization and saving the summaries at the end of the call. And the last one is to book a call. So it goes and checks the Google Calendar. If it's available, makes that booking and confirms. If it's not available, we have a tool here to check the calendar availability, comes back and responds with an alternative. So we'll tell it up to three different other available slots, right? So this is the backend that drives it. Again, this plus the full code will be in the school community. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. And that'll be it for this video. I hope you find this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you want me to cover any of the other features that Ultravox covers, whether it's the multi-stage conversations or the voice cloning. I'll make sure to do that. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as always. It does help out a lot. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.